Okay. Well, there we go. That was our our very first one. So, Creep Wars TD. So, anybody have uh, any initial thoughts they want to throw out there? Disappointed! Hello, everyone. Today, I want to show you how I have created the new trailer for Creep Wars TD. This video is part of the devlog series about finishing my first game on Steam. The game is called Creep Wars TD. It's a tower defense game and it's in early access at the moment. My name is Christian Fischer. I am a German engineer and part-time video game developer. Creep Wars TD will be released on April the 15th, so I started to prepare some marketing assets. First thing on the list was the creation of a new trailer. Luckily my old early access trailer got reviewed by Indiebrass PR end of last year. So I took their feedback as a starting point. Put a timestamped link in the description if you like to watch the original video on their YouTube channel. I will go through their main suggestions and then I will show you what I have done to improve my trailer. One of the main issues that were identified very quick were my generic title cards. They did not communicate unique ideas of the game. Stephen Müller mentioned one of the somehow unique points. A tower defense where you have units as opposed to actual towers. So this could be used to create personalized cards. I think he suggested summon units to fight the battle. Besides the redundant content, the title cards also had this extremely basic look. They said they even felt like placeholders. So I decided to create them in GIMP and add a nice background effect later. This is for sure still not a high production value, but I think it is much, much better than before. Then they identified some technical issues. In-game sound effects were not loud enough. Scroll at the end was bad due to information overload. There was this short frame with bad eye trace caused by a tooltip that just showed, showed up a few seconds or even half a second. So this time I just paid more attention to, to these points to avoid having the same mistakes in the new trailer. And they also gave me some suggestions regarding the content of the trailer. Show as many backgrounds as possible, maybe even some biomes. I did that by showing more different levels this time, but uh, as you know, I don't have that many biomes built up intensity. I tried to do that by building up the intensity of the fights and the number of enemies. Due to the trailer length, and the very limited budget, I ignored their, their suggestions to add a voiceover and to tell a story in the trailer. I am super grateful for this feedback. Thank you guys once again. My studies regarding trailer creation were not over at this point. Eric Johnson mentioned Derek Lu in one of his tips, so I searched him on YouTube and found his video game trailer academy. I put a link in the description. So I watched a lot of his videos to gather more in helpful information. The main takeaways for me were to remove generic title cards like 40 different enemies, build tower, boss enemies. I removed that completely because that is more or less the worst thing you can do. The second thing uh, was to turn off the HUD completely or just use one or two shots to establish the genre. He said that the static HUD elements would distract the viewer too much from the actual content. I think this is very true for my last trailer. Nevertheless, I chose to include some UI elements in a few shots to show the summon and the upgrade as well as the direct command feature. I hope that is not too much. I also learned about types of trailers and the appropriate length of them. I identified that my trailer is a bullet point trailer 
and that it should have a length of 60 to 90 seconds or shorter. Derek also said that I should not show the same content again in another shot and instead make the trailer shorter. I did accordingly and this is the full new trailer. How do you like it? Please share your thoughts in the comment section. Next week I will update the Steam page, write some posts for the Steam community page, update the demo build and upload the latest version to Steam. If you want to follow my journey, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. That helps a lot. Thank you for watching. Bye.